Hey from South Dakota. Come with us as we head up north. We're going to check out Mount Rushmore, interview a couple of churches. Those will be out in a different video and see what other kind of fun we can find today. So we made it over to Hot Springs, South Dakota. This is where we're meeting with the first pastor and we're going to interview him in a minute but we wanted to make sure and get lunch so we found this cute little park and we set up with a picnic and now just checking out this fun little bridge looks like a really cute town i wish we could spend a lot more time here so we're driving through wind cave national park and unfortunately the cave is closed right now due to covid but luckily we found these guys When you gotta go, you gotta go. Alright, we made it to Mount Rushmore. Here it is behind me. We're gonna hike the presidential trail and I'll meet you at the top. Hiking, this is probably uh, step 5,055, I think. And we're going up to the top to see the president face to face. I got something to tell him, so if they'll listen, I'm gonna go talk to him. So we made it to the top, nice and sweaty, but check out these dudes. It was totally worth it. As I'm standing amongst giants like these guys, it makes me think, what mission do you have? Because these dudes were on a mission. They were leading the nation. They were carving out a new frontier called the Americas. They were forming a whole nation. And we've modeled our entire existence in America off of some of the work that these guys were doing. And so when I'm amongst giants, it gets me thinking, you know, what is God calling me to do? What's God calling you to do? What nation can we shake? Maybe it's the church that we can shake. Maybe it's something within your family that needs shaking. But when you're amongst these guys, you can't help but start asking these questions and start wondering if God has more for you. If maybe some of the work that you could do would be demonstrated generations later on a mountain like this. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to hear about it in the comments down below. So here we are in Deadwood, South Dakota, and it got me thinking more about what we were talking about yesterday up at Mount Rushmore. Here we are by a giant, at least in legacy in his own right, and it got me thinking again, you know, what are we doing before we end up six feet under? How are we spending our time? As we think about the scripture, Paul says in Philippians 1.21, to die is gain, to live is Christ. Uh, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about that scripture for the longest time because it's in my heart right now and being in front of the Giants yesterday and this dude today, it's really got me thinking before we end up six feet under, what are we gonna do for the church, for the gospel, moving the gospel forward towards the goalpost. Uh, Paul talks a lot about living out this life of holiness and running a good race. And it gets me thinking as I'm standing by a grave, you know, I want to say that I'm spent when I die. I want to say that I gave it all for Christ. And uh, Wild Bill, I, well, it says he died by a pistol shot. And there's a bunch of Jack Daniels and guns and all this stuff around his grave. And I'm wondering if maybe, just maybe, God has a little bit better legacy for you to leave on this earth. Whether your face is going to be next to the presidents on Mount Rushmore, you're going to have a cool statue, or just a humble little burial somewhere. You know, what did you do for this lifetime? What did I do in this lifetime for the kingdom of God? Lots of stuff to think about. This is a deep trip. I, I thought it was going to be cool and casual and fun, and this is turning out kind of deep, right? Smash the like button if you think this video is getting a little deep today. All right, so we made it to Sturgis. I'm hanging out with all my good buddies here. Okay, well maybe they're not here. We're here a couple months early and I'm probably happy about that because I don't know if I want to be stuck in this crowd. We're gonna grab a bite to eat and then we're headed down to Rapid City to interview our next church. 
All right, so we just got done in Rapid City interviewing the pastor. Woo, we had such a good time. Make sure and check out that video when it comes. Everyone told us that we need to check out Custer State Park. So here we are on the wildlife loop. And of course, we ran into more bison or buffalo or Tonkin, whatever you want to call them, these big giants behind me. Next up, we're going to be hitting up the Iron Mountain Road and then Needles Highway. Two more things that people told us we need to make sure and see while we're here. All right, guys, we got a Tonkin on the road. What's up, Tatankin? So we made our way over to Lake Sylvan. This lake is actually featured in National Treasure 2. I'm not quite sure where they were but this place is so beautiful I can't get over it. I gotta bring my kayaks and my bikes back here and do some camping real soon. tunnel that we just went through blew our minds. We seriously had no idea. I mean, a friend told us about this, but it just didn't really add up. But as soon as you're going through the tunnel, and you can kind of see it if you zoom in on that footage right there, you can see Mount Rushmore. So off in the distance, straight out there, is actually Mount Rushmore. And of course, not on video, but in real life, it is just mind boggling. So apparently the next two tunnels are supposed to do the same thing. We didn't expect this, but again, right off my shoulder, we came through the third tunnel, and there it was, bam! Just in all its raining glory and beauty, Mount Rushmore. We just got done filming over in Custer at Crossroads Church. Make sure and check out that video, if you will, when it comes out. We had an amazing interview with Pastor Neil, uh, but we were gonna head back to Colorado right away to get a head start on the day, but we really wanted to try to find this spot in National Treasure where he reaches his hand in the rock. We're gonna walk around this lake and then go back over to Needle Highway and see the eye of the needle. And then we're headed back to Colorado. All right, Nick Cage, this is a tribute to you.
Well, sadly, the trip is winding down. We're still in Custer. Uh, we went to this burger place that Pastor Neil recommended, Burger and Bun. So we're so excited about eating that burger. Uh, but I just can't believe how much we've done over this trip. We did Mount Rushmore. Iron Mountain Trail. And then we went over and interviewed, of course, three pastors. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, Needles Highway was a lot of fun in Custer Park. You stuck your hand in that hole where Nicolas Cage... Oh yeah, found the national treasure. Stop it. What lake entrance. was that? Sorry? Sylvan Lake. Sylvan Lake? What else? Some baby Tatanka. Tatankas, all the Tatankas along the highway. They're in Custer State Park. One thing we missed was the hotel... I think it's a casino too that um, Kevin Costner owns in Deadwood. Deadwood, oh Deadwood. Went up to the graves, that was fun. And we went over to Sturgis and checked that out. Definitely uh, not cool when there's no motorcycles there. <laughs> We're a lot more impressed by Deadwood mm -hmm. and Hill City. And Custer is really beautiful. I could spend a lot of time in this town. Mm -hmm. The town that we were in, Keystone, we had some really good pizza last mm -hmm. night. It's just so fun eating out right now. Since most states you can't eat out, we had a bunch of fun eating out all the time. This is really good. This is the, um, what is it, Greek? Mm -hmm. The Greek hamburger. Mm. I'm sure we're missing a couple things that we did in there that we're going to show you on the video, but I can't say it enough. If you got some time, head over to the Black Hills in South Dakota. It's so fun over here. I know that we need to spend about seven more trips and I mean, we were here, what, three days? So you need at least five or more. Uh, but yeah, we hope you guys are enjoying these videos as we get out to new churches and new places to interview and do prayer videos. We do the travel and adventure. And so we're gonna keep taking you guys with us as we see all these beautiful sights as God leads. Uh, as always, if you wanna support the ministry and get us going even more places, check the description below. You'll see that if you purchase anything through our Amazon affiliate links, we get a little kickback and that's gonna give us gas to get to places like this. Meet more pastors, meet more churches, meet more people that have prayer stories. And we're gonna keep bringing you prayer, travel, and adventure. So until the next video, keep praying and we'll see you then.